All my seafood are from northern provinces. Okay. Seafood Han is from Shandong, Shandong province. So I start with the long fish. Uh, that gave me a pretty good foundation, basic training. Uh, give me an idea what the Kung Fu is, what Kung Fu should be, uh, what kind of training you need it, what you should do, you should not do. Uh, that's very good. Uh, I liked it. I actually loved it very much. But I think uh, at that period of time, still young, not really quite understand what contains in the form. Uh, form just as a sequence of movements. In this movement, maybe it looks pretty, but that's really less important. Really important is the training myself and then the usage. I was still young, high school kids. <laughs> so I pretty much focused on my training, training myself, basic training. Uh, try to get myself qualified to continuously to study Kung Fu. Uh, Usage-wise, some of them really, really much too high to me. I really cannot uh, understand. That's why I went to learn the Primentis. Uh, I learned several different kind of Primentis. I myself, personally, uh, nothing right or wrong with Primentis style. Uh, nothing good or bad. But just my, my, I myself and my personality I didn't like the Primentis style that much, but it really helped me. Helped me to do what? Do the usage, fighting. Uh, I study eight step Primentis to start with eight steps. That's one of the branch of Primentis. Uh, I start with under a civil name Wei, last name Wei, Wei Xiao Tang, Wei Xiao Tang from Shandong. Uh, the hometown of Primentis is from Shandong. Now it's all over China, all the different provinces, and also uh, all over the world, I would say, because uh, go through the things go to Jingwu Association. Jingwu, the Cantonese pronunciation would be Gengmao, Gengmao Association. Uh, they developed the Primentis to Southeast Asia, and then, well, once you touch outside, then go to European countries and then to America. So that's the seven star style. Yeah, I study also seven star style. And uh, the Sifu last name Li, Li, Li Kun San, also from Shandong, he's seven star. And later on, I have a very special opportunity. I also train under Sifu Zhang, Last name Zhang, Zhang Xiang San, to study the six harmony primates. They are all the different branches of primate style. Uh, I myself, this is absolutely just personal. Uh, I found myself, I love the six harmony the most. But that's just me, my taste, nothing to do with the other. But the original style of Primentis is seven star. That's everybody agree. No, no, my judgment. That's original. Uh, six harmony style. The kind of uh, mix combined with the six harmony long fist style. Liu He Quan, Liu He Quan. That's why we call it Liu He Tang Lang, Liu He and Tang Lang. Okay. Yeah. Uh, later on, I feel. I know some usage now. Uh, I even have some of the uh, misunderstanding about the long face usage. After I can really do the uh, attack and defense movements, uh, oh, now wake me up. So maybe have more understanding about the long face. That's the benefit I got from Primitives. You could say that. That's the benefit I got from the usage. Usage still is the important thing. This is much art anyway. But I feel we don't really 
use the module in battlefield anymore. Uh, 100 years ago, it's all the module, including any module in the world, all defeated by the gun and cannon. Uh, we don't do bad things in society <laughs> to, uh, to play the gangster, to, to do bad things. But I would like to know I can really do the martial art. So when you know how to do the usage, you can hit the target, but can you make the damage? That means can you issue the power or not? To me, I have to be honest to myself. I still get questioned there. That's why I went on to study Xin Yi, Xin Yi style. I studied the Hebei, Hebei branches of Xin Yi. Everybody knows Xin Yi starts with Sanxi, Sanxi province. In Taiwan, we have very little Sanxi Xin Yi. Uh, we have almost no Henan Xin Yi, that's another branches. We have, what we have is the most popular branch all over the world is Hebei style. So I met the Hebei style Sifu Cao Lianfang, last name Cao, Cao Lianfang. Uh, I learned from him. But it wasn't very long because I had a chance, opportunity to meet Sifu Liu, Liu Yinqiao. I want to learn in the power, right? Uh, Sifu Liu Yinqiao used Ba Ji Quan to issue the power. Oh my God, it's so powerful, it's so wonderful. So I switched, I went on to study Ba Ji Quan and also the Pi Gua Zhang. Uh, I was very satisfied. I feel this is it. This is my long, long trip uh, in, in the Kung Fu field. I, I just want to do it good. That's all I want. But I found out later on, several years later, Shifu Liu, he even know the Ba Gua Zhang. Oh my God. Well, I was really, really overloaded. I cannot learn it. Uh, my time, my energy, I cannot spend a little more time. But Sifu said, so it's okay, you can try it a little bit. I tried the Bagua. And I really fall in love with it. I really like it, really like it. Okay, that's it. That's, that's my ending. That's my uh, very last chapter. I learned Bagua and that would be it. Uh, to all my surprise, Sifu Liu uh, is really not satisfied with my body study. He says, uh, you only know how to issue the power, you only do the hard power. There's no softness, softness in your body, in your, uh, in your, in your body chain. And that's not right. You will not be able to get to the high level. All the high level of Kung Fu is always combined with hard and soft. You have to have both. Well, at that time, still young, I just use all my, all my power, my ability. I try to make it good, make it hard. Hard is good and so powerful. And Sifu say no, say no. And he asked, give me lots of, lots of advice and give me lots of corrections. I still cannot make it. Uh, he found a way to help me out. Uh, right now, I feel I s I'm, I'm so appreciate of him. But at that time, I feel, oh my God, I, I don't want to do it. I keep running away from that. He want me to learn the Tai Chi Chen. <laughs> I don't want to do it. <laughs> and he have a very good friend, uh, older than his age, older than Sifu Liu. Uh, he's from Henan province. Uh, I forgot to say earlier, Sifu Cao Lianfang, that's Hebei, Hebei province, Hebei branches of uh, Xin Yichen. So he's from Hebei, Hebei province. And Sifu Liu, Ba Ji and Pi Gua, also from Hebei. The Tai Chi Chen Sifu, Sifu Du, last name Du, Du Yuzhe, he's from Henan. Uh, I think people all agree the first place of Tai Chi is from Henan, Chen village. Uh, at the Ming Dynasty. So he learned that. He learned the Chen style. 
Uh, he's a good friend of my Sifu, Liu, Liu Yinqiao. Uh, he want me to learn. I keep running away from that. I hide away. I, I shine away. I just don't want to do it. I cannot take it that much. But he said, that's a mutt. So I said, well, I started to change style. <laughs> and to my own surprise, my, I myself, uh, later on I found out I really like Tai Chi Chen. Really like Tai Chi Chen. Uh, I always tell people, uh, Tai Chi Chen is martial art. Uh, my Tai Chi Chen, uh, I follow this direction. I treat Tai Chi Chen as martial art. But there's really nothing wrong people treat Tai Chi Chen as health exercise. Health exercise is most important to our society, uh, to ourselves, every single one of ourselves. Uh, that's nothing you can disagree with. That's good. I agree with that. You don't have to do Tai Chi Chen very powerful. Hard and soft power together, you can really fight using. We don't use much of the fight in the battlefield anymore. In any rate, that's just a fact. But I really disagree. Uh, people treat Tai Chi Chen as a religious belief. Okay, I just do it soft and slow. I can tremendous power. That's miracle. Uh, that's really beyond me. So that's why my trip in Kung Fu feels uh, feels like uh, a whole lot. But actually, I turn lots of different directions. But for the same target, uh, same destination, I want to do the Kung Fu good. But I had to go through all different, different ways. Uh, in a way, I, when I face myself, uh, it's kind of interesting. In a way, I feel so funny. <laughs> but my, my interest too, too much uh, uh, never changed. Uh, in Taiwan, I, I was born in China, but I grew up in Taiwan. I learned all my Kung Fu in Taiwan only. Okay? Uh, in Taiwan, I, I, do the, uh, I teach in school, in college. I teach Chinese literature, and also I teach martial art too, in college. And then I stayed in California, in San Francisco, almost 20 years. I teach martial art there. Now I'm back to my hometown, back to Taiwan. Wow, it's another 20 years now. Uh, I'm also teaching. And last five or six years, I started to do the publishing. I published martial art only, Kung Fu only, a book and DVD. That's what I'm doing right now.